The Summit Floor 10 Farm is on the dev's official known issues board for the upcoming patch. There's a chance that whatever they do to it might make Floor 10 farming no longer a thing. And if that happens, what would the outcome be for the Division 2 community? Banditos, welcome to another Tux Talk, and today's topic is Summit Floor 10, Farming and Possible Nerf. In the official known issues board, it reads, Repeatedly killing the same NPCs on a boss floor of the Summit to gain XP has never been the intention of the mode and encounter. Therefore, we will be addressing the gains from this method and potentially others in an upcoming patch. More details to be shared at a later date. This is still under investigation and priority assigned as medium, but the fix isn't in progress yet. Let's look at the summit farm and use case. So I didn't focus on my rewards track for season 10 like I have in past seasons. I play every day, but have been really enjoying the tinker time I have been spending in the build lab. But now it's time to get those new exotics. So I hooked up with my buddy Gambit to farm floor 10 in the summit. As you can see by his watch, he's an XP farm rock star. To be honest, I rarely come in here to do this. Since it's been a known thing, I've spent three or four farming sessions in here, but it really is efficient. If you run it a certain way, you can get an SHD level every 30 seconds or so, but we're not doing that. Instead, we're running it on legendary with seven directives. This is because we are also interested in loot quality while we are here. You can put on 10 directives, but the juice really isn't worth the squeeze. These guys are some of the original summit farmers at least on xbox which started on floor 100 that's where big watch guys got most of their xp that got nerfed so the birds migrated south to floor 10 and here we are have you done this yet it really does work it's easier on heroic but again the loot is fantastic here on legendary you're getting 827,000 xp every time you clear the floor which happens in no time at all minutes i was 75 on the rewards track when i walked in and in less than one hour, I gained 25 shade levels and reached 100 on the rewards track. And this was super casual gameplay, guys. It was just the two of us, and we were chatting it up. But that's not all. Along the way, I got an exotic drop and tons of great targeted loot. So I mentioned earlier, I have only done this three or four times. What I didn't tell you is that I haven't played the summit in like forever, except for those three or four times, which were all in season nine. If floor 10 wasn't a thing, would you come to the summit? A lot of people despise it here. One reason I used to come here was for the 10 directives. You can't get that in the open world map. So putting yourself to the test with that can be fun, or really annoying, but running up 100 floors in a building with no windows is drab. Also, some of the obstacles are like really annoying, like the MP pulses, those irritate me the most. The targeted loot is a pull in here, and so are the summit caches you can earn with the challenges, but the floors don't drop enough loot to motivate me to spend a lot of time here. It doesn't feel that rewarding. Floor 10 does. Now, this doesn't really feel like an exploit. It feels like something some smart dudes have mastered. It's clever. I don't think there's anything wrong with clever. It only becomes an issue to the devs when the cat gets out of the bag, right? Just like Floor 100. These guys were doing it forever. I mean, look at that watch. But once a few videos went out on it and the devs caught wind, they nerfed the XP on Floor 100. Is that what they're gonna do here? If they nerf Floor 10 only, we will just move it to Floor 20, right? They will figure that too. Does this mean they will nerf XP on all boss floors? Another possible way to divert this farm is by removing the floor layout from the pool. That will make it more unpredictable and less of a farm. Or add more floor layouts to the pool to make it more unpredictable and more fun. What do you think they will do? Here's the important part. I believe the devs are missing an opportunity here. This is perspective I'm talking about. Instead of looking at this as something that needs to be nerfed, they can study it as a possible buff to the summit. They must have some sort of playability stats on the summit, these numbers can't be good, right? Think about it. Players are willing to spend hours and days in here mastering a method to gain XP and some loot quickly. These same players most likely don't spend any time playing any other floor in this entire building. Me included, floor 10 isn't exciting. The method is formulated to make it easy, which in turn makes it very casual. We were chatting it up as we did it. That's attractive for a player. So is XP. So is loot. It's a looter shooter. So although we're 
we're doing this and we feel rewarded because of the XP, we're also sort of disappointed because I know we'd rather run up to 100 floors and gain lots of XP doing that if we could do it in an efficient way and if it was fun. What if instead of removing floor 10 method, they made the other 99 floors faster, increased the drop rates, and gave us XP bonuses based on how fast we cleared the whole thing? What if they removed all the obstacles like EMP pulses and drone rooms? What if the object was to climb 100 floors in a single session as fast as you can? The faster you go, the more XP bonus and summit caches you earned. We're still farming XP, but playing the content fully. That's what I want to do. I don't want to stay in one room with no windows and farm it over and over and over again for XP. I want lots of XP, but I want to play the game at the same time. And that's why I personally don't come into Summit Floor 10 a lot, because I also want to play the game. So I find this a little disappointing that way, but it's rewarding because of the XP. So what if they mesh that concept into the whole Summit? Make it more rewarding through XP and more gear, whatever. And I'm sure that we could poke holes in this idea. Whether it's the right answer is not the point. The point is that we want to farm XP in a game mode that we can practice and master. We are willing to invest massive hours in this. We consider XP farming rewarding enough to play the content that dishes it out repeatedly. We need to spin the way the devs are approaching this. The real problem is not that we've mastered floor 10 and shared our method. The problem is nobody plays the summit unless they're going to floor 10. That's the real problem. Using floor 10 as inspiration and you were king of the devs for a day, what would you command them to do to the summit? Hey banditos, I just put out a new ongoing directive build. It's a very unique and effective way to run ongoing directive. You gotta check this one out. Follow me.